Cascada Café de Tiro in Popayan, Colombia. With these videos, I'm doing what I can for the evolution of human consciousness, and I would appreciate your help to disseminate this important information. Please subscribe to receive the latest videos. Thank you. Information, like everything else in our reality, is vibrational. When we hear certain information that is aligned with our present state of consciousness, we catch that information or thought from the environment and accept it as our truth. We believe that this thought is our thought and it came from our mind. But in fact, it is not our thought. We caught the thought from the many thoughts and information that exist all around us. We literally catch the thoughts that are in alignment with our vibrational state. Probably at least 95% of humanity is in the white sheep vibration level. Occasionally, some of us behave at the black sheep vibrational level. When I started learning or catching information from the black sheep vibration level, I tried to share it with my family and friends. I learned over the many years that I cannot impose my level of consciousness onto someone else and even less so to the ones that I love the most. They cannot hear me because the information provided does not correspond to their level of consciousness and therefore they reject everything that is said as ridiculous, conspiracy theory, stupidity or whatever else their mind makes up. I was born into a very strong traditional Ukrainian-Canadian family in Montreal, Quebec. During the first part of my life, I followed the, all the expectations that came from the family and from society to perfection. Perfect white sheep. I, however, remember asking myself at the very young age of 10, what is the purpose of life if we all grow old and die sooner or later? Like everything in life, that moment passed and I continued on the traditional path. In early 2002, shortly after 9-11, I went to a dental seminar. After the seminar, the attending dentists were invited to stay and listen to a financial presentation. I remember my severe shock reaction when I found out how money is created out of thin air and that more than 99% of our taxes go to income taxes go to pay the interest on this money created by the elite. The interest is never created out of, out of the same thin air and, therefore, the debt that is growing completely out of control is part of the masterful plan. It is most definitely not a mistake. With this final first level of rude awakening, I started walking a path that was no longer one of conformity. I became a black sheep. I started reading voraciously. Up until that moment, I was not at all a reader. I read only what I had to read to make it through dental school. I did not even read novels. The first book I read was Crossing the Rubicon, The Decline of the American Empire at the End of the Age of Oil by Michael Rupert. This book of 513 pages is one of investigative journalism performed by Michael, a formal LAPD, Los Angeles Police Department, officer. Michael provided detailed evidence that showed that the attacks of September 11, 2001 were accomplished due to an amazing orchestration of logistics and personnel. He showed how everyone acted in concert to guarantee the desired result. On November 6, 2009, the movie Collapse, starring Michael, was released. Michael's contribution to the transformation of, human, of humanity was immense. I had the honor to meet the man in person, and he signed his book, Crossing the Rubicon, for me. Unfortunately, Michael did not find in time the connection to his soul. After years of working at a pub, as a public activist, to expose the corruption and falsehood of the systems, he succumbed to despair and depression. Michael committed suicide. I know that all the work done by individuals is added to the collective consciousness of humanity. I express my infinite gratitude to Michael. He was the first one to fuel my spark. It is precisely the apocalypse that we are now facing which will finally push many of us to face the end of the world of illusion. 
with a critical mass of evolved conscious individuals, paradise on earth will emerge. The question is, do I wish to take part in establishing the new kingdom and the new divine being on earth? For me, the answer is a resounding yes. Will you join me? The coronavirus epidemic is a psychological force that is being used to enslave humanity completely at every possible level through technocracy. Will you choose not to participate or simply acquiesce to total slavery? Please hit the like button, share this information and join us in this adventure. I wish to be part of creating self-sustainable small communities. I was blessed with time and created this new life outside of the totalitarian control system. I do not have answers for what you need to do, but I wish to share in whatever way I can. If you have any suggestions, please contact me. My contact information is below. Assistance with farmland purchases in Colombia and Ecuador. Agricultural land is a wise investment and still very economical in these countries. Long-term stay at a Colombian farm, 120 USD per week, 420 USD per month. Spanish lessons, Truth Consciousness Workshop at Cascada Café de Tiro in English, Spanish, and French. Dental treatment of high quality, up to 75% savings in Colombia, and migraine treatment with NTI Dental Appliance. Infinite love. <laughs>